I knew Brooks can be MC15. I got excited and already unboxed it. This was intended for my road bike, which is currently out of commission, waiting for a wheel set. So I'm going to have to try this on a different bike. So I'll be trying this out on my Frankenstein single speed, which is currently the only bike I have working. got to mark the rails on that so I know where I had it and there it is very comfortable to sit on so far it needs a test ride nice and in the middle of the saddle rails that's really good the previous saddle I had on it the clamp was right up the back so that's good. I've still got a little bit of room to move forward. So I might actually end up doing that because, as you can see, I've tried some compensation here because the frame ultimately is 2 centimeters too big for me. I really need a 54 centimeter frame. But with most things, this is sort of geometry. Hey. Uh. First impression, impression, pretty damn good. I do tend to wiggle around on it just like I do with every other saddle, but I think at, at this point that's become more of a preventative habit than a discomfort habit, uh, if you know what I mean. I, th I think I just wiggle around into different position positions to prevent myself from having been in one position for too long. Um, I, don't, I don't really like to sit in one position for a long time. The, um, the previous saddle on there was at its aft limit on the rails, uh, right where it was right at the back of the rails. So um, I couldn't, I, I've always had a, a little bit of overreach to the handlebars. So I will, after first ride, I've decided I will be moving the seat forward about 5mm. Other than that, really good really really impressed it, it is a um, it's not soft it's um, I think other riders tend to you know squish it down and show you how much it moves in that but mine doesn't tend to move that much I think um, I am 70, I think I'm 72 at the moment, about 72 kilos, it's, it's not sort of, it's not going down a great deal under my weight, it feels very firm, but I do like firm saddles, I, I've always hated padded saddles because they tend to hug everything and it just gets hot on whatever part you're sitting on. Firm saddle, great, and the cutout. Obviously, I prefer the cutouts. Um, not necessarily for pressure relief, um, but I tend to prefer the cutouts at least for some sort of air circulation, so that so that you know again the whole area is not getting sort of um, hot. Just a quick update on the Cambium saddle. I've had it for 10 months now. I've actually got it on my road bike now. I've got this old piece of crap on Franken bike. This will this saddle was okay at first, but after I got used to it, I really really started noticing the sort of harder parts of this really digging in. And this saddle got really irritating after a while. But 
the cambium. Fantastic. It's not the softest saddle, but like I said before, um, the softer saddles tend to hug everything and really make everything hot and you, you don't want to men men especially you don't want to heat up down there for long periods of time because that kills your testosterone so i don't want to get my comfort from a bike seat by sitting on something soft and squishy i'd rather use a harder seat and get my comfort from moving around in different positions and and finding out sort of what position's comfortable and using, you know, proper, I guess, proper form. I don't, I don't know if you'd use, is that the right word to use for sitting position, proper form? Anyway, cambium saddles, absolutely fantastic. Even for a hard saddle, it does long distances fairly well i mean like all long distances you i've done a 200k on that now like all long distances you have to get off every now and then so you've got to get off that saddle every now and then just like any other saddle but apart from that it's really great i just absolutely can't fault it i love it i should probably also mention that it's not the lightest saddle and that, that's probably my only complaint about it is the weight because I am starting to use lighter components on my bike. So my next seat for this is I'm actually going to go with the carbon C. I'm actually going to go with the C13 that has the carbon rails. And I've already got one of those on my wife's bike. So... There's the Brooks Cambium C13, and I'll um, I'll do something on that when I get one. But she's happy with that. <laughs> 